Migrant workers are being moved out of crowded dormitories in Singapore after a surge in new coronavirus cases linked to the sites, according to the authorities. A sharp jump in cases in the massive dormitories had already prompted authorities to quarantine four complexes housing tens of thousands of people this week. The main motivation might have been to keep costs down for the employers of these foreign workers, of these migrant workers. And so they packed them in really tight. Um, but um, while that might have been efficient from a financial perspective, it's proving very dangerous from an infection or contagion perspective. We fear, though, that um, if the dorms are not, if the density of the dorms are not lower, if the, the density is not lower, if the, if the men are not thinned out, uh, infection in many of the dorms will rise. Um, so, uh, Transit Workers Count 2, TWC2, we have um, suggested that um, we could, for example, empty out the army barracks because generally our national servicemen and soldiers, they have homes to go back to. We also have a lot of unused space now that we have the circuit breaker lockdown. Uh, like auditoriums, like uh, stadiums, um, like the massive car parks. You're not supposed to go out, so our car parks are all the underground car parks and multi-story above-ground car parks. They are um, largely empty. Fears had been growing among the workers, many of whom are construction laborers from South Asia that were highly vulnerable to infection in the cramped dorms where social distancing is difficult. Singapore health officials on Thursday reported a record daily increase of 287 new virus cases, over 200 of which were linked to the dorms. In a bid to reduce the risk of infection, many migrant workers are now being moved from dormitories to other sites, including military barracks, vacant apartment blocks, and a massive exhibition site where the Singapore Air Show takes place, according to authorities. About 5,000 who work in services deemed essential have already been transferred and thousands more will be transferred in the coming days with the help of the armed forces and the police.